So Byte Scout provided many tools and APIs for unstructured data extraction. PDF multi tool utility is one of them. Byte Scout provided this utility as free to use and you can download it from this URL. Well, I have already installed PDF multi tool on my machine. So let's open it. Just click the Windows logo in the bottom left corner to bring up the program menu and type PDF multi tool and click on this. Okay, so here we have a PDF multi tool utility. A PDF multi tool utility have multiple functions to help to extract data from PDF like convert PDF to CSV, PDF to text file, PDF to XLS, PDF to XML and JSON. And you can also convert PDF to TIFF file and you can convert PDF into PNG file or JPEG file and you can also convert PDF into HTML file and if the PDF file contain any attachment then you can extract the attachment etc etc and yes you can also edit the PDF file using these tools like you can remove the particular text or you can remove the particular images and if there are multiple pages in the PDF then you can split the PDF so there are many more features you can explore in this utility we will explore some of the useful features later in this course to manipulate PDF file okay you can open PDF file by clicking on this button now let me open this file now as we know that PDF file encapsulates a complete description of fixed layout flat document including the text, fonts, vector objects, raster images and other information needed to display it. So PDF is not just containing a text content like this. PDF files may also contain a variety of contents beside flat text. It can contain scanned documents, PDF with attachments, it can contain form fields, layers, rich media like video content or audio content, etc. PDF can also contain Unicode characters. So let me open one sample file in this tool. So as you can see that PDF can also contain and support this many language characters. So this is the Unicode characters. And PDF can also contain scanned documents. So now let us open one PDF file which contain scanned documents. All right, so if you see this file carefully, then you can see that this is not a text. This is a scanned documents added in the PDF file in multiple language. So this PDF multi tool can read the text from the scanned documents, not in English, but it can also read the document in German, Spanish, French and many more languages as well. We will see this demo in the next video. Okay. And PDF can also contain form fields. Yes. Now let us see one sample PDF file which contain the form fields. Okay. So as you can see in this PDF file that this PDF file contain some form fields. Yes. Within the PDF you can also add this type of text box and checkbox and radio button and drop down and list box like this and you can also write within this pdf like this so form controls allow users to interact with a pdf document by filling in the information or indicating choices which can then be submitted for further processing a pdf can also be used to store additional files attached to it so now let me open the sample pdf file which contain an attachment Okay, so this PDF multi tool is smart enough to detect the attachments added in the PDF file. PDF can be sized as large as 1 GB or more with hundreds of attachment. So here in the right hand side, you can see that a paper clip type of image. Now when you click on this image button, it will open this small pop up window in which you can see the three attached files. One is PNG file. Another one is EMF file and third one is the TIFF file. So you can save all this attachment either one by one by clicking on this save link like this or you can save all this attachment 
in one go by clicking on this save all button and it will ask to select the folder and once you select the folder it will save all the attached document in that particular folder okay so now in the next video we will explore some of the more features of the pdf multi tool so stay tuned